cap coming on. It could snow at any second. I'm going to take the socks off. I shall brave this Florida winter for you so you can enjoy my well-worn feet. Right. Let's shake it out. Arms and legs, everything loose. Always be warmed up when doing these routines so the blood heats up the muscle tissue, making it very pliable. Bum, bum. Modify as needed. Always use control. Butterfly position. Let's start it here. Shoulders back and down. We're going to do a little hinging. Grab the feet. Maybe your knees are up here or bring them down here. Remember, this is a 30-day challenge. You can always go back and start with day one. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, rise up. Bring some movement and joy to the spine. I had to close my eyes to really enjoy that. Mm. Exhale, hinge, lead with the crown of the head. Use the elbows to open the hips and the back. If you forget who I am, it's written on my shirt. Two more, hinging forward, exhale. Inhale up, good, shoulders back and down, lengthening forward, hold it here, go side to side. Rocking side to side gives you an opportunity to smush the heels down, not the heels, I'm, I'm stuck on down dog, smush the knees down, like this, back and forth. One of my favorites for opening the hips, getting blood flow and moving the low back. There we go, back and forth. Now we're gonna add something funky called a cow face stretch to this. So allow me to turn around here and I'll show you how that looks. So we stay in the butterfly, reach your right hand back, place it on your back. This arm comes around, you can stay here or have a, a little um, washcloth, grab onto that or lace the fingers together. And let's do that hinging again, five times. Excellent stuff, one more time. Shoulders relax. Let's hold it here for three breaths. And rise up. All right, release cactus arms. Before we go to the other side, shake it out, shake it out. You're loose, loose as a goose. Crap through a goose. What movie is that from? <laughs> All right, butterfly again. Let's do cow face on the other side. Remember the options. The side's a little tighter for Coach V. All right, get it firmly in control, whichever variation you're doing, and let's do five pulses. Man, my feet are dry. No matter how much lotion you put on them, they're still dry. One more time, my friend. Lengthen, always stretching that spine. Hold it here for three breaths. Challenging your shoulder mobility and flexibility. Your ability also to hold a difficult pose, building mental fortitude. There are all sorts of beautiful benefits in these stretching flows. Many we don't even realize until we're right in the middle of it unlocking all these doors. Bring it up, Oh, nice release. Cactus arm, elbows back. All right, again, shake it out. Lovely 
cold winter Florida breeze. And we're going into a lunge with pulling the back leg. Okay. Shoulders back. Glad you're here with me. This is, I'm sorry, two finger point. This is rude. This is Disney right here. Right foot forward. Drop that left knee down. You can always stay here, my friend. Or bend this back leg. Reach this right hand. Look at this. This hand is down. Ooh, get a little, I always get a little mat burn on my knee. There we go. I have to position it just right. Five breaths. Each exhale, draw that heel towards you. Yes, it feels fine except the, the pant leg. Pant leg bugs my knee. Actually, it's my leg hair. I need to shave my legs, don't I? I'll be doing this all day then. Hey, it looks like Coach Vig shaved his legs. <laughs> Had some high school memories there with that. Draw that leg towards you, this one back here, this foot towards you with the exhales. All right, switch sides. Take it back to down dog for a moment. Little kick, little switch, and then left foot forward. There we go. Slide the right knee back. Ugh. Right hand down and bend. See this? Oh, it feels a little better on this leg. Telling you, if you are an active person, if you do a lot of biking, running, walking, sprints, oh my goodness, your quads are singing. They're singing the Alleluia Chorus right now from the Messiah. Keep pulling towards you. Heel towards the glutes. Three more breaths. Can add some rotation so you're drawing this left shoulder back and dropping the right shoulder down. Oh, coming next, we're going to do this, but with a pigeon pose. Can you dig it? Very exciting. All right, release. Let's take it back to down dog again. Shake it out. Every time my wife washes these pants, they get a little smaller. Spread the fingers wide. All right, now bring your right knee forward, pigeon. We've been doing this challenge, day 18, we've done a lot of pigeons. We are lousy with pigeons. Slide the left leg back. Now, stay here or bring the right forearm to the mat. Bend the left leg, reach the left hand back. It's a twist and pull. So twist and pull that heel towards you. It's active. Three more breaths. I want to say 20 because this is so good. The nice thing about a video like this, you have the power to do any duration you wish. Ooh, baby. Other side. Down dog for a moment. Shake it out. And now call up your left leg. Okay, bending this leg. Is this right? Yeah. What am I doing? All right, pull. There we are. Right heel towards the glutes. You, you can do both sides also. Maybe we'll do that later in this challenge. It's the sides that get me. I want to do all the sides. Every direction. Three more breaths. Oh my goodness. You feel that? I heard somebody out there. Oh, somebody in Indiana just said, yep, yeah, feel it. Somebody in England just cursed. Okay. You'd be amazed the technology I have on this phone. I can see everything. All right, down dog. Shake it out. And then, since we're in down dog, let's plant, sink the heels down. We're going to pulse forward and back 10 times. Inhale, exhale. You want to jazz up your spine. Send a ripple of energy and excitement down your posterior chain. This is a great one. Forward and back. We really go forward just to go back. The forward motion's nice. It's mobility in the shoulders, but we get a chance each time to sink a little more into that pose. And, of course, for me to lose count. Three more. That sounds good. Release. Oh, 
Okay, knees down. <sighs> knees hip width, tops of the feet on the mat. <sighs> Shake out the feet. My feet have been cramping a little bit lately. It's a lot of up dogs, a lot of pressure on the tops of the feet. So I've been doing some massage on it, some ball rolling. We'll see if that helps. All right, first progression, hands on the lower back. Breathing into the pooch, of course. I always give the camel pose pooch lecture because the proper breath going below the rib cage into the diaphragm, expanding the whole area, exhaling, squeezing it back in. Hands here, drop the shoulders, or a half camel. Right hand, right heel, left arm up. If you're doing that, hold it for three breaths and then switch sides, or full camel. Let's do six breaths, that will match up nicely. Oh, your spine, feel that current, the electrical current, not just the spine, but your abdominals, your chest, relax the jaw. And again, showing the quads how much you care. This is a Hallmark card for your quads. Maybe even one of those fancy ones that plays music. Oh yes, hip flexors, quads, abdominals. What did they write on the stage? I can't understand that. I think it's Greek. All right, my friends, slowly coming up. Oh my goodness. Child's pose, knees close to each other, press back. And let's walk those hands back and forth, like so. Nice stretch, you wanna go further, come out here. Really extending into that diagonal. Love this, love how it feels on my lats. What do you say, two more hours of this? This is fantastic, all right. One more time each side. I am feeling, it's night and day right now, night and day. My ability to move, my mood, my blood flow, oh, my temperament, my distemper, my rabies is gone, okay. So we have back bend again, half camel or full camel, six breaths once again. I have not taught this in a while, but I gotta say it feels good. All right, two more breaths, yeah. That'll do it. Okay, oh. Thank you, Bird just said. Well done, everyone. Take it back again, child's pose. Let's do the hand slides. So hand here or forearm and we slide forward. Exhale forward, inhale back. Let me go back a little more. Anyone behind me? Okay, I don't want to give out too much of the show here. Long slide. As you do that, work your armpits down. See how I'm doing this? I'm not bunching up the shoulders here. These stretches are so good on their own, there's no need for us to add tension to them to block them. We want 100%, not 60 or 70% of the benefit. Sliding forward. Nice movement, using your core to guide the movement, to bring you forward and to draw you back. Always a nice core element to these flows. A lot of times you don't even realize it. Dominals, lower back, hips, and glutes. I teach and film and write a lot of Pilates stuff. So that's the center of Pilates is the core. One more time each side. You notice I'm going a little bit of a diagonal. That's what I want to do, maybe you want to do that also. Ah, I do, I do want to do that. Okay, man, there are some good things in here. Knees to chest, and we're gonna extend the leg. A new variation on this classic right here. So knees in, 
You can always place a pillow or a towel or both on the back of your head. Let's rock side to side. You can always stay here, breathing into the low back or extending the legs, maybe grabbing the hamstrings or the ankles and you're drawing, oh, this is interesting. I saw a photo of this last night and the lady was, oh, just folding up like luggage. So I could do that. All right. <laughs> so you could also roll it back into a plow back here with your arms down or over the head. But I'm going to stay here right now. I like this. I used to teach this as an extreme stretch. The more you lengthen the legs and you bring them down, <sighs> bringing the quads onto your chest. You can hug, hug it out. Ooh, rock it side to side, try that. That feels good. Right in the low back. Right in the upper glute. How's your breathing? In the nose, out the nose. This is the allergy time of year. So the more you do your flows with me, the more your airways are opened up with that deep breath. The breathing, the respiratory system, It's like our muscles, you use them, got to use them, they strengthen. Get out and move, get outside when you can. For me, illness was always indoors, just sitting, sitting long periods of time, shutting off my body and my mind. That's when the illness for me would creep in. All right, big twist. Uh, left leg down, bring the right leg across, extend as much as you like. I know we've been doing this where we take the arm out. I'm going to grab this leg and draw the knee up, back and forth. Big increase in your mobility in your back, your rotational flexibility. If you do any kind of martial arts, or grappling, or wrestling, these stretches. These moves are very beneficial, especially when you get on the ground. <sighs> I wrestled for a few years in school. But back then, I think we just ran all the time and, and wrestled. We didn't do uh, core work, I don't believe, or flexibility training. <sighs> Would have been nice to add in to what we were already doing. All right, other side. Cross it over. Huh. I feel like I'm in Colorado with this cap on. I'm having weird flashbacks. Seeing mountains where there's gators. Elk where there's gators. Mountains where there's ponds. Draw it up. Draw it up. Extend the leg. Ooh, always bringing the hamstrings and the IT band in as we extend right here. Two more breaths. Oh, I gotta say, I, you enjoying yourselves? Make sure you share this routine with people you know who need it, who really need it, who would benefit from it. Because we do it in real time, so I'm feeling it in real time, and heck, I wanna share it on right now. Bring the knees in again. Like before, you could extend like this, or go into the plow pose which I alluded to earlier. I'm gonna do that one, if you don't mind, as my dad would say, if you don't mind. All right, so we bring it up and over, gentle, relax the neck, legs over, hands here, or on the ground, or over the head. I haven't done plowing a little bit, so I like to do a little power walking and stuff to ease into it. Little movements. You're gonna really experience firsthand your relationship between the hamstrings, your glutes, and your back. Because I want to extend the legs further into the pose. Five more breaths. Whew. And the plow is very much alive. You could go into it, think you're, uh, I think I'm hot stuff, and then my body catches up and it starts to push back. Start feeling 
a lot of movement in this area, the middle to lower back, thoracic area down to the lumbar. So, you know, listen to your body as always. My videos are always designed for you to take and make it your own. Slowly come down with control. Our lives will never be the same. Ooh, after that one, drop the legs side to side. Pull that cap down, there we go. Makes me look so cool. Gotta say, my feet aren't actually that cold. If I tried this in Wisconsin or Colorado, the feet would fall right off. Just break off. All right, let's come back up. I have so many fun things, but we're gonna finish it off here. All right, splits flow, I've decided. Make this video a little bit longer, but why not? We're here, we're here now. I struggle with that sometimes. Like, oh, I shouldn't make the video that long. It's like, why not? We're here, let's do it. Let's make a massive difference here. So right knee forward, left knee down. We're gonna rock forward and rock back. This is design to open up as far as you want to go into a full front split. You can also extend this back leg going back and forth from lunge to pyramid stretch, but that's up to you. Hands are down for support. Doesn't really matter, right? Every second will bring you some wisdom in the movement and that's what you have to listen to. And that's what carries us along, doesn't it? Whew. There you go. Drop the shoulders down and then tuck the chin. So we're getting a full inversion here, head down, and then a back bend here even. Look at that. We'll see, you're always free to take this foot forward into, I really don't want to put my feet on the, the cement here, but into a front split. I'm a little cold here, haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna keep my hands down, I'm gonna rock back and forth, find yours. Don't even look at me, don't look at me. Look at me, but don't look at me. That's the theme I see a lot. <laughs> Notice me, but don't really look at me. There we are, five more breaths. This is good, I think I'm gonna start Again, doing this stretch every night. I do a lot of stretching each night for myself and also planning out videos and uh, articles and books and whatnot. So I'm always taking it into the lab, getting down on the floor and trying them out. Whether it's a new stretch or a new sequence or a tried and true classic. They are always very fresh. Hmm. All right, my friends, let's get to the other side. Whoever you want to get there, I like to rock onto the right side. Take it back to down dog for a moment, shake it out. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's do that pulse again 10 times. We just keep going. This may break the internet, go viral beyond our control. Pulsing back and forth. There's three, let's do 10. But if your spine is feeling Limber and pliable, that is a major victory. Decompression. I go to a chiropractor occasionally and actually show him stretches a lot or movements. So that's good. We all need guidance. We need refreshers. I need it too. All right, one more time. Smushing back. All right, we have the left foot forward. Tuck in my blouse, Coach V. And back and forth, find it, find it. And then get it. We 
We got calf participation, the calves, gastronemia is right here, coming into play. Whether they like it or not, most of our calves feel like a hand grenade. They're just gonna, if there was a pin, you'd pull it and it would explode with tension. Okay, we also have, remember, lunge, forward and back. Stretch the legs, feet are staggered. And we're in the pipeline. We can't stop. We got 30 days. We have these flows. They never stop. <sighs> All right. So we have hamstrings, calves. We have the quads and the hip flexors all working together. Uh oh, people are coming. There's people coming. <sighs> all right. If you like, all right, let's try it. Going into the splits. This side, not quite as bad. Hands are down. You notice how I rock side to side? You don't just want to try to murder yourself in the splits. You want to keep it active, keep it dynamic, and keep it moving. It might stop you from going insane with the splits. Oh, now I have to pay them for being in the shot. All right, where's my accountant? Back and forth. There we go. I scare people sometimes out here. I can see them like, oh, what's, what's going on over there? But I appreciate that. Only dogs are brave enough to come right up to me and usually give me a big kiss. I'm glad people don't do that. Ooh, but I am getting some definite pushback here in this hamstring. How about two more breaths? I know some of you are might be cursing up your very own storm. Others of you probably flattened down to this split. We're all doing something, but we're doing it. Okay, now bring it on to your left side. Oh, I feel like a beat up Van Dam today. Excellent, shake out the arms and legs. I think we'll call it a day there, my friends, day 18. If you like this, invite everyone you know who could benefit from this. Subscribe, like, click the like button, click the notification bell to never miss one of these. And today's random question is when you were a kid, what was your dream job? I remember vividly in third grade we did that. I said I wanted to be a famous actor. Not just famous, not just an actor, but I wanted to be a famous actor or a truck driver. Those were the two. I could merge them together, be a famous acting truck driver. So let us know below. That's always a fun question. See how it leads us through the days of our lives. The bold and the beautiful guiding light. God bless my friends. See you tomorrow for day 19. And always remember, be sure to drink your oval tea. A crummy commercial? And I wish to personally give you a hearty hand clasp. Oh, thanks. Hearty hand clasp.